Hey everyone, Baina here. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to show you five different garments that I purchased that were definitely a mistake because I never ended up wearing them. And I want to kind of tie that into what I actually learned about my personal style. I've always thought that I had an eye for design and for style. I feel like I could put outfits together, see what looked good. But when I look back at some of my pictures and some of my outfits from the past, I think I didn't fully understand um, the best way that I could be dressing myself. And I feel like I just feel like I'm in a different place right now where I know a lot more about the things that I should be wearing. And I will attribute that to learning about the Kibbe body system. Now this type of body typing is something that I teach in my Girl Mastery course and I go, we do in my Girl Society. And so I, once I learned this system, it completely transformed like the kind of clothes that would that I understood would work for me. So I definitely like share that and all the things that I do with the Girl stuff. Um, the Kibbe body typing is basically a system developed in the 80s by an image consultant and there are 13 different types. And I kind of consider it like the feng shui of getting dressed because you're taking into consideration not just the shape of your body, but the bone structure, the length of your limbs. Are you like super muscular? Are you, do you appear very soft? Are your shoulders sloped? Do you have a defined jaw? What are the proportions of your body features? Are they very even? Do you have, you know, certain things that are really big and then certain things that are very small, like it's taking that whole thing into consideration, which is very much like design. So the basic idea is that you should dress in the clothes that have the similar characteristics that you have on your body. It kind of makes sense. So it's very organic and it goes together. So someone who's very long and lean and muscular is going to look good in clothes that are more structured, lengthy, tailored, and crisp. And someone that's like more rounded and soft is probably going to look good in clothes that are more softer flowy lines as opposed to those are real structured blazers and as soon as i learned this system i understood why blazers have never looked good on me i am a soft classic and so for this video i'm just going to kind of talk about soft classic as i show you these garments since we're talking about the clothes that didn't work for my body type um, and then if you guys want me to do a, a video in the future of the other body types just let me know in the comments below it's someone who has rounded features sloped shoulders has a softness like for me no matter how much weight i lose um or how much i work out i'm never going to be like super defined muscles there's a softness so when you gain weight you tend to gain it all over uh it's someone who has a defined waist but it's not a really super dramatic hourglass like, it's very balanced okay like if you look at my face my eyes my nose and my lips nothing is like i don't have huge eyes and a small nose or anything everything's pretty equal everything's very symmetrical so as a result, we tend to look good in clothes that are very symmetrical and even, not too wide, not too narrow, not too tight, not too loose. Simple clothes, not a lot of pattern, no, not a lot of like bright, loud colors, definitely not color blocking, a little bit of intricacy on solid colors. Well, they're actually very simple. A lot of people who are classics or soft classics complain that it's the most boring style because it's like, oh, we can't wear the big poofy sleeves. We can't do color blocking. We can't do chunky heels, massive oversized earrings, glasses. You got where I'm going with this, guys? I was wearing a lot of clothes that did not, that were like the direct opposite of the soft classic. So let me go through the five or so items and sh talk them out and show you why I regret buying them. Okay, first of all, here's what I learned about fashion. When you wear a garment and you know, you're, you should, your beauty should shine through. It should never be the garment that people notice first. If it does, that means that item is wearing you. And I think that's exactly what's happening here with these glasses. A lot of people will see me wearing these glasses and they'll be like, oh my God, those look so cool. But what's really happening is that you are seeing the glasses first. You're not seeing me. Okay, so these are the glasses that I'm now wearing. What do you guys think? Definitely let me know what you think in the comments below. Or what I, why I think they work better for my body type is that they have the roundedness where these were more a little bit sharper and they're not as big they I feel like they fit my face they're not overwhelming my face and I feel like with these sunglasses you would notice me first they're not jumping out I think they're still cool and stylish but they're not jumping out as like the thing that you're going to notice first and I remember when I went to Paris I wore these and I thought a lot of people were looking at me they were staring at me and I think 
I felt like it was the glasses, honestly, because the French are very understated. Okay, so the next item that I have that I'm a little bit just sad about is this Furla bag. When I saw it in the store, I was like, oh my God, this is so cute. I so have to have this. And you guys know I love pink and it's got this like gold hardware and this guitar strap. And the thing is, I have worn this literally one time. So that should tell you that when you wear something like one time, it's not, you're not pulling for it. There's something that doesn't feel right. And I think what's throwing this off for me is the thickness of this guitar strap. Because again, soft plastic is supposed to be in the middle. And um, also we're supposed to, like even the bags are supposed to be rounded with little details. And I, I think the size of the bag is good and it has a roundedness, but I think it's too wide here. Like it's boxy. And so boxy is something that just doesn't feel organic with our body types. And I just feel like there's something about it that doesn't really suit you know, my body type. So let me show you the bag that I constantly wear. I constantly wore this bag and I feel like this suits my body type. I wore this the entire summer. And even as I'm holding it here, which actually I feel like it does actually work. I feel like it looks so cute here. Like you can even see it next to my body. Like it, I feel like it does actually look really, really cute. And it has all the elements here for the soft plastic. It has rounded details, literally. It has a little bit of delicate intricacies here. And also with the classic, we're not supposed to wear huge bags. And I, I used to wear massive bags and now I wear small bags. I feel like they just like suit me so much more. Okay, so the next garment that I never wear that I regret buying is this uh, button down shirt dress from Theory. And it's about, it's like knee length, a little bit above the knee. And it has these almost like three quarter inch sleeves. It definitely has the button downs down the front and a collar, and it does come in at the waist. And the fabric is impeccable. That's another thing about the soft plastic. We are supposed to wear very good quality uh, fabric. This doesn't work for me for two different reasons. First of all, I did my skin undertone, and I discovered that I am in a neutral color tone. And this made a huge difference for me in my life because I realized that I actually look a lot better in chocolate brown and navy and those are two colors that i never wore before instead i would always go with black like a lot of people because you think black always looks good but when i wear this i feel it feels too uptight it feels too uptight too serious too dark and too heavy but with this dress i don't know what shoes to wear with it i don't really want to wear like dressy heels with this like on a day-to-day -day basis when i'm just, like working from home so this dress really is completely unworn because it doesn't fit with the lifestyle and the color I feel like is just not inspiring for me. Because I'm soft and rounded, I look better in fabrics that are more lightweight and the black solid dress was just too stiff. These are two of my most popular dresses. I wore them all the time last summer. One on the right is a chocolate brown and both have waist definition. And I think the black one here on the left is more successful because the solid color is broken up by a pretty simple pattern and again, that fabric has more flow to it. I feel like Birkenstocks are something that are definitely classic and very cool. I always wanted a pair of Birkenstocks. And so I was really excited about getting these and I spent quite a bit of money. I know they're wide, but on me, I felt like I was wearing like bear claw, like duck feet. Like it was just too extreme on my body. And so as a result, I've definitely worn them a number of times, but I never pulled for them. And I for sure have not worn them enough to justify with, for what I paid, which is all over $100. And what I've learned now with the Kibbe body typing system, the shoes that really look the best on me are in the middle. And I'm going to show you the shoes that I wore, the sandals that I wore all summer long. They're so versatile. They look over the top and like slightly ridiculous, but I can't tell you how unbelievably versatile these were. They look good with jeans, uh, white or denim. They look good with a lot of my dresses, not this dress though. Um, and like they're not too wide. I mean, it just literally these details make all the difference. Okay, so these really worked amazingly. These did not work at all. Um, but one thing they both have in common is a rounded toe. That's what I learned also. It looks really, really good for the soft classic, having a rounded toe. So one way to go through your closet and figure out like what the heck, you know, what actually works for you, what, your, what works with your body type is just to look at all the clothes that you wear all of the time and then like kind of look through, well, why do they work? What are the details that they have in common? Okay, I need to buy more clothes like that.
when I bought this, I thought, oh my God, it's so cute and so pretty. And I've definitely worn this. I've worn this in some videos that I did on my website. And then I don't like those videos because I feel like it's just so, so busy. And I actually did wear this in all my it girl promotional stuff. And I feel like it looks really good, but it's because I've muted it down in those pictures, like a leather jacket. And it's a very, very simple, simple background. So that's why I think it works. But on a day-to-day -day basis, I just never go for this shirt. And I think why is because it's too much pattern. And the soft classic looks actually a lot of the times better in solids, believe it or not, which sounds so boring. Um, and I just, even as I'm holding this up, I feel that the, the pattern is just too busy. And you're noticing the garment on me then rather than my face. This is still a pattern, but there's a simplicity about it that I feel like I stand out more. So that's kind of what I learned. Um, I've always been someone that doesn't have a, a, a massive amount of clothing. And I think I'd actually like to change that. Right now we're in the quarantine situation and I'm desperately in need of new clothes. So everything I'm wearing right now is from last summer. So uh, as soon as we open up everything back again, I am going to be like shopping my little heart out because I feel like I really need to add to my clothes. And I kind of want to like, expand my wardrobe. I don't know if I necessarily have to have such a time. I kind of want more options. I kind of want more than just like the minimalist wardrobe. I think I can handle that. Um, but you know, the, I was able to find these five garments. I don't have a lot of clothes left. Um, and you know, hopefully make better choices in the future. So we're not wasting that money. Uh, if this was interesting though, definitely let me know. Let me know if you also want to hear more about the kiddie body type system, or if you know about it, what is your style? It's a fascinating topic. I can guarantee you, you will be obsessed with it like I am. And thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you want helps me out and we'll talk to you later. Bye.